welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, where we are getting to know our new ship, the Normandy SR2. And uh, what a fine ship it is, guys. What a fine ship it is indeed. So, I believe we've spoken to everyone, well, with the exception of Joker, and uh, we've gotten a lay of the land. Oh, let's examine this. Like so. Running and green. there's Edie over there. Let's have a word with Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, this ship is just a copy, um... It's not the same, Yeah, okay. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. God, you are such a downer. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with Joker there. We, we will have to do something about that negative attitude. But I think we've done all we can here, guys. It is time to get out there, start recruiting some peoples, and, uh, yeah, start making uh, making some gains towards uh, taking it to the collectors. Let's open up the galaxy map. Okay, so this is the new galaxy map now. We've got the mass relay here. Uh, there's Omega there, that is uh, Recruit Arch Archangel, the Professor, the Veteran. Um, where's the Citadel? Uh, do we... the Omega-4 relay? Okay, we're not, we're not going there yet. Let's check this out. Okay, does, it, does anyone see the Citadel? There's the Citadel. Yeah, okay, let's check it out. Okay, there's a fuel depot, in the mass relay, and the Citadel. And we can recruit the Master Thief. Interesting. Alright, let's dock. There she is. Look at that beautiful space station. Gorgeous. Ooh, and I like I like the new animation. Okay, so at the moment we've only got two squad members, Miranda and Jacob, so we shall take them. Uh, yeah, we are not doing anything else with Shep, or Miranda, or Jacob. Yeah, they're all good. We shall just take them as such. Um, we are... he can take the shotgun and the heavy pistol, Miranda can take the submachine gun, or... The, yeah, the shuriken machine, machine pistol, rather. And we are, we're okay as we are. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Uh, okay. What's the password? Um, I don't know what is the what is silence, silence is golden? golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Oh, of course. So this is the master thief that we got the message about in the uh, on our um, personal com terminal. Uh, have you been uh, have you been briefed by the secrecy? You and Cerberus, um, Cerberus have you been briefed? Be on Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. 
My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the uh, why does he proceed? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. Okay, well, thank what you. you uh, so you and Cerberus. That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. Yeah, we're gonna... Ta you're gonna have to um, think about uh, joining us, whether it's really for you, because... Uh, this might be a one-way trip, I love. this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. Donovan Hawk? What's this heist oh, so you want a heist? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Oh, okay. Nice. What do you know uh, about so Donovan tell us about Donovan Hawk. Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's uh, the kind of guy who trouble? takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume uh, a gray, gray box, box? Is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time before Hawk killed him. Ooh, okay. Tell me um, about this former partner of yours. His name was yeah, Keiji Okuda. Tell us. The best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. Oh, you found it so what bad. did it say? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand okay, yeah, I see why you want it. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. Okay, well, we'll take care of it then. We'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Yeah. Oh, cool. She's got stealth tech. All right. I never actually recruited um, Kasumi in the in my initial playthrough of uh, Mass Effect Two, probably because uh, she's a DLC character. But uh, that is pretty cool. Listen to the galactic news. Okay, CSEC Customs. You, it's been a uh, security seems heavy. Through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Yeah, that's what I thought. Be alert, be safe. Thanks mm. for your time. All right. Next. Oh, here we go. Chief Gunnery. Listen to this guy. This is great. Seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what <laughs> is Newton's this. first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. 
damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty! Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something! That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship! It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years! If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime! That is why you check your damn targets! <laughs> that is it. why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution! That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it! This is a weapon of mass destruction! You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip! Sir, yes sir! I love it. I love it, guys. I just... oh, Just little things like that there. The attention to detail and to the... with respect to the science of this game. Just... oh, Love it. Obviously security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... dead. I was well, uh, technically I was. A couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. Press this to show the map. Okay, look at this map. Uh, so we are here. Bailey is next door. You'll okay. have to make him scream. But a no, that's He's not, not enough. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle. It. Okay, Captain Bailey. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My console says you're dead. You're not um, identifying me? Claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you cool. could Cool, can you fix it? Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. Okay. Um, seems a bit irregular. I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the uh, how do I get that from here? from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Um, okay, that's my plan. The Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah, the Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Uh, why did you join CSEC? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined CSEC so I could stay in one place, put down roots. It looks like most um, of the what about Sovereign Attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course, they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Oh, of course, because the Citadel itself is huge. So when Sovereign attacked, like, yeah, I can understand that the... It would still be under repairs now, like two years later. Um, Zakaria Ward? Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. 
Uh, humans and sea sick. Captains and sea sick. The sea sick took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Okay. Um, using suspects. Make him scream a little. This isn't the Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rulebook. Hmm. I need okay. To to the council. How do we How get to the council? The from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shot. Oh, wait. He said this, didn't he? Okay, well, I think that's what we need now, Captain Bailey. Thank you. Uh, let's check there. We've nothing else to look here. Avena news report. We don't need to see the news report. Uh, should we talk Good to day, the friends. sorry lady? To the Citadel. Uh, what are you doing? Um, okay. Want an endorsement? The council. The government employees get a discount. Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness, I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. So do you okay. want to go one of the fish, got paragon points for that? Ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I heard uh, well, there's actually a fair chunk of stuff to do here on the Citadel, but I say we go straight to the Council, see if we can, uh, yeah, get some intel from them. Galactic news, we don't want galactic news, goddammit, come on. I hear this uh, is the best I... place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best is place for food on Cafe? What's this here? High grade provisions? Uh, oh no. 500 credits. Uh, diplomatic dinners. Essential novel. Uh, revelations novel. Uh, no, I don't think we want anything there. Do, wait, do we? Hang on. Hang on. Various quality cuisine items use the perfect dinners of all starships. Is this... Is this what our mess sergeant wanted? Let's... Yeah, hang on. We've got 161,000 credit. Okay, let's... We, we can afford this. We can afford... Hang on. Essential novel? Uh... Revelations novel? Who's reading this stuff? I'm I'm not really sure, but I mean we've got some fancy cuisine. I'm Commander Shepard, yeah. and this is my favorite store. Welcome back. These stores and are owned let's by just check out the souvenirs here That's quickly. Correct. Forgot to do that. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Look at Miranda. That look. I just hate shopping. I'd like to buy some. <laughs> My apologies. Let's, let's see what we can I buy. I make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. Thanks for your time. Oh, okay. Of course, Thank you. citizen. All right, sp a space hamster. We can get some fish. We can get a model Normandy or a model Ascension. Okay, well, Maybe I think we'll definitely be coming back to get some of this swag a bit later on. But yeah, no more faffing about. Time to hit the council. I mean, not really hit them. Like, check them out. Pop, pay a visit to them. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor, 
is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here. Look at Anderson. Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time. Good to Anderson. see you, old friend. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Uh, well, yeah, I need your help. Human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. My word. I, I mean, this is quite spectacular that they've... Uh fallen on this position. I mean, they fought basically a Reaper in the last game. Um, why would Geth Saren follow Saren? The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Oh my word! Go uh, examine vigil, vigil or sovereign. Or just look at what's left of sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. Oh my word, dude. Dude, don't, don't go there. I kept Come Saren on, I deserve better than this. Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a specter. What does that mean? Reinstatement? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Hmm, okay, well I'm honored. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Uh, well, yeah, there's them, no need to burn bridges, though. Terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be Man. too hard. Anderson's as long age, as you huh? To the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about. Shepherd. And here comes Bad Cop. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? <laughs> the Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. 
Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Man, Udina's still a bit sidelined about getting a little bit salty about getting sidelined by us in the last game. I need to put him in his place. Udina's just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long uh, did it take damage to, get to this the place Citadel? Back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Um, what about the remains of Sovereign? I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could, but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Of course, that makes sense then. What about war Last with the Geth? We were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there, but they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Okay. So, uh, what about Ash? What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, I get it. How have you been? How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is, so I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? You should come with me, Anderson. Dina and the council, join my crew and help me stop the collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. We understand, Anderson. All right, you, you take care, buddy. Of course, Shepard. I understand. I wish I could do more to help you, but if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. I know what it is, buddy. I know what it is. Okay. So we've checked in with Anderson. We've uh, recruited a new friend, Kasumi. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Okay, let us descent, request new squad member. Well, we haven't actually seen Kasumi, have we? Hmm, all right, um... Miranda, you... No. Miranda, you sit this one out. Uh, and that is fine. Ooh, okay, arc projector, interesting. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna have to see what Kasumi can do. Now, where are we going? Uh, Zakara twenty level twenty six. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. Interesting. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. What can I get you? Uh, you know what I haven't had in ages? Ramen. My grandmother used to make the best ramen. Delicious. Thinking back, I really should have stolen her recipe. 
Well, of, of, of course. With you, everything's about stealing, isn't it, Kasumi? Oh, damn it, girl. you got a problem. Uh, what is this, uh... I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. <laughs> you say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. Uh, maybe the chit fell. We ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Uh, you look at chips a lot? Do you spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... Uh, yeah, that's a great idea. A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a Quarian who was on hers. I... wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Um, okay, what about, uh, Mr. Volus? You say she opinion? stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Uh, she just ran into you? How does running into you mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Oh man, this guy. Um... Did you leave it at you the sure store, maybe? Your at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That shit stayed in my pocket. Hmm. Mr. C-Sec, what know do you got to say? The truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. Well, I'll hang on, let me look into this quickly. Happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of her officers know. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go. Be careful out there. Alright, so... Then we can find this chip, can't we? Now, where was it? So we're here. The warehouse transit system. Application. Where exactly was his uh, crime in progress? Yeah, where exactly did he lose it? Find Corton's credit chip. Krogan Sushi? Takes fish from the lakes of the Presidian. Ask about fish. Ice brandy. We can look for. Oh, we can deliver the ingredients to the cook. That's fine. FBA couplings. We can look for that. Overlord. Travel to Ite. Okay. Well, I'm sure we can find this. What do you think, Michael? Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakir Award. Uh, want an endorsement? I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. Okay, we're getting those sweet Today's Paragon points. Season. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakir Award. Oh, actually, I don't think I, uh... 
Quote on his credit chip. Here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? And now that I saw, he didn't purchase anything. Hmm. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Although I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires a sari to work their stores. <laughs> we can uh, we can guess. Thanks for your time. Wasn't it? Come back uh, soon, I believe Shepard. Liara said uh, in the first game of the uh, the human uh, the unhealthy fascination that humans have I'm toward a sari. To say that there are Wasn't like that. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Uh, no credit chips here. No credit chips here at all. Marav? Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You want an endorsement? You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point and go nav interfaces anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. Okay, no worries, Marab. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. Oh, of There's course. A catalog these guys don't over. sell anything, do they? Credit chit. Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Now let's look at these applications. Uh, this is... Alright, this all looks cool. It's a little expensive. So we're going to hold out on uh, purchasing anything, just for the moment. Let's see what else we can see around here. Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried seaweed on the station. Where can I get some sushi? I'd, I'd like some sushi now. This guy's auto-suggested it. God damn it, I want sushi. I felt her. Alright. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarium could have stolen it. <laughs> I'll close this event report. But I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. No, I don't want you about it. yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. Oh, man. That was, uh... Yeah, slightly... Uh, a subdued thanks on her part. Right, let's take a look at what else we can do around here. Where can we get... Rapid Transit com. Uh, Rapid Transit is back this way, isn't it? So we're on 26 now. 20. Let's check out 27. Interesting. Yeah, I say interesting, but I mean not really. The layout is pretty much the same on, uh, I think, on all of them. Let's see, lots of Turians. Fine, fine. I just need to pick up some spices. Amino dextrous and see what this guy's got. Essential added. novel. You don't mix your spice curality. What could yeah, nothing special there. Wait a minute. We we've been here. But once again, I am so not going to be think? buying anything just yet. I like the just, uh... It's like a non-stop... Yeah, I just, I want to be absolutely sure... 
Oh, hello, what's in here? I want to be absolutely sure that we're getting value. Did I see something that said brandy a second ago? Uh, purchase Cirrus Ice Brandy. Yes. That's for Dr. Chocolates. What's about in the same? <laughs> because you're a bartender, dude. That's what people do. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is it's green. It guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dexter of DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. <laughs> Uh, no, I think that is, uh, that's all us. Thanks, buddy. Let me know if you change your mind. Okay, well, we've done, uh, quite well here, I think. What's the groundskeeper saying? Then I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the woods. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese gift shop. Okay. Um. So wait, that's what Can we I drink? Pour a glass of water. It's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in. No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no. Universe loves diversity. <laughs> universe loves diversity. Um, gift shop? Where's that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Okay. Thanks well, for yeah, now we know where to no go problem. for that fish. Let's do that. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the Demile flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. Uh, nothing else? I think that's about all we can do here. There is one more thing we can do. One more thing we have to do. Have a little booby. Okay, that was that was good. That was we were dead, guys. Come on, we were dead. We needed to let off some steam. Feel alive again, you know? We needed to. Okay. Let's head back to that. Oh, hello. The people Who's this? want to hear your story, Shepard. Police have been seen in Al Jalati, Western the News. That's a bit of a mouthful of a name. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You oh yeah. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? Oh yeah, you made us look bad. What? So you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. You're bad, you're news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If I love true, that Kasumi's you hiding. Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. Uh, we stood as one to save humanity. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Bigger each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Chen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remember them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Burn. Battle of the Citadel. Check vid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. That was, uh, yeah. Good interview, Shep. Good interview. Okay, now can we please go get... Wait, we can talk to Jacob? We... 
we can talk to Jacob somewhere here, it seems. Why can we talk to Jacob? Been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone. Comforting to some people, I guess. Living in denial that all this could end. Yeah, it is, uh... Pretty tragic, Jacob. Uh, okay, let's go back to level 27. I think this is where she is, right? And... Uh, is it this way? No, I think it's the other way, isn't it? Yeah, it's around here. No, that's Seasec. I'm well, that's Shepard, the. Uh, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. There we go. Okay, fish. This one. Space hamster, we're coming back for you. Uh, deliver to the cabin. No, we wanted to. to Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the count. We offer an assortment of decorations. Thanks for your time. I'm of sure course, this is where we were supposed to get the fish from, right? We'll purchase a fake fish from the gift shop. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go tell the Krogan. Yeah, Kagash. Um, why fish, buddy? What do you want? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. <laughs> Sorry you're so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, there, there are no fish. I talked to one of the Sorry, Presidium dude. groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. Oh dear. Yeah, sorry about that, Kargosh. Okay, well I think we've done all we need to do here. Time to head back to the Normandy. Okay, first of all... Doc, I've got a present for you. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres Ice Brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Okay, yeah, let's drink. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I thought Alenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. Why leave the Alliance? With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. You lonely? Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff. Joker will always have Rolic Syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Oh, yeah, I understand. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard, our removable center. A place for a person to stop catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? <laughs> There's our toast. Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that.
Oh, Dr. Chuckwas is reminiscing. Okay, we're a little bit uh, hungover y, but that's okay. Look at that. Everything's swaying, that's great. And of course, she's uh, reminiscing about Jenkins. Jenkins and Alenko, both of whom died in the previous game. Alright, let's talk to Gardner. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Uh, okay. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, <laughs> thanks again. You really came through. No worries, buddy. No worries. Okay. Well, that is it for now, guys. I think we're going to take a quick break here, and when we get back, we're going to be carrying on with the main story. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.